Okay. Let's take a look inside everything here. Some more pliers. Look in the big chest. What the fuck is that? Just a bunch of big cans of beans? What? The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. Wow. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Okay. So he's kind of uh, obsess obsessed with space, huh? Something isn't right when your bed is in the garage. Yeah, maybe you were a little bit too obsessed there, buddy. Handlebars. The fuck do I do with that? Unused steel trap, not to be touched. Okay. Is there anything else? Homemade flying saucer. Life never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> you and me both, Carl. The machine appeared to be missing something critical. Mm. Something necessary for it to take off. It's got duct tape, pliers, and something else. Uh, da -da -da -da, I'll look around on the shelves again, but I don't think... I think I've found everything to be found in here except it's except whatever's in that fucking bucket I think that I think I need the spaceship for the whatever's in the bucket I believe headlight no nope. shape of this machine almost straight out of Star Trek was out of the ordinary to say the least <clears throat> It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. Alright. Crayons. To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Huh. Peculiar man indeed. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, there's some there must be something outside. Green milk for little green men? Hardware. Ah, there it is. Okay. Aw, oh, shit. It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entail well a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Homemade flying saucer. Eh, jump up. Okay, what was the point of that? Oh shit, there is a ladder up there. How do I get to it though? Um, God, I really don't know. This is actually. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually like kinda throwing me for a loop. Cause it's it's that bucket, right? Can't I like throw something at it or I don't know. Let me see here. Um equipment. What all can I use here? Maybe, maybe. Whoa, shit. Well, I'm not getting that back. I threw my steak. It's up there. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. How am I supposed to get to that? That ladder. I don't know. Maybe I need to find another ladder. Let's kind of look around over here. Da, 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 da. Mm, nothing in here. Carl had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Huh. Okay. 
Mowing the lawn is not necessary at this time. <laughs> One bench. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. <laughs> I do like the track that's playing right now. It's actually pretty friggin' badass sounding. I am enjoying it. Hamilton, what the fuck? What does that say? Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. What? Aw, shit. Okay. The milk was sorted by color. From the whitest to the greenest. Or in other words, from the freshest to the sourest. Oh, I already took a picture of that one. Um, unused steel trap. There's nothing. Alright, I guess I hope that I find something in the house. In the actual house. Okay. Let's go check the actual house, I guess. Snowmobile ski. Okay, wait a minute. Carl had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look around, I guess, in the, uh, junkyard a bit more. There's gotta be something. Or the scrapyard, I guess. Another snowmobile ski. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic <laughs> sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. I don't think he was trying to repair cars, Carl. I don't think he was trying to repair cars at all. Why he was making a UFO, I'm not quite sure, but... Let's check in here one more time, just to see if any of this can help us. It's that one, I swear it is. It's either that one or that one. Like, those are the two that I saw him mess with. And that ladder has to come into play somehow. They're like, I, it's gotta. It's gotta. Unless I'm being extra super retard right now. You know? <laughs> okay. Let's look in the house. Okay, uh, da 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 da. <clears throat> Let me get, go get the wood real quick. Whew! Okay. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. No shit! Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Places of interest. Okay. Okay, there's only three, it looks like. Okay, I need to kind of conduct these to memory. Okay, then there's four. It's one right next to the lake. Huh. Okay. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. <laughs> what was it for? To play telepath? To I guess. protect against nuclear waves? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Manufacturer's manual. Page one. Suspension. The suspension has w way too many parts. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it back together is another story. I patched everything but the up but the tracks. I left them close by. 
Don't drink ski. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. I'm misplacing par parts of the machine. Rajon helped uh, came to help me work on the machine yesterday afternoon. For the most part, he helped me chug my bottles down to the last drop. I think we tried to ski or something. Bad idea. I still haven't found that one ski we lost in the process. Huh. Body. That would make for a nice uh, beach chair pad. I just need to get all the parts to reassemble it. Electrical. This lamp has a, is pretty well made. Suitable for even in the harshest of we weathers. I think I can place it on top of my secret prototype in the garage. Space has got to be pitch black and damn cold after all. <laughs> Steering. I'll have to f hurry up and fix this machine if I'm to travel around the powder snow all winter. Alright, I managed to untangle and replace the brake's cable. Dead on time for October. Now, how about a nice, a nice and light blanket of early snow to let the fun begin? <clears throat> Notes. December t 1969. Stunts. They're a blast when you're 12 and you go ahead and break your brother's old bicycle, I suppose. Well, I managed to damage my beautiful brand new snowmobile after only two days of acrobatics. Fixing it up will take a while. I'm thinking of a year at, a, at the very least. Damn it. March 1970. I need to get my hands on that yellow suit, including the helmet that goes with it. Just like the, uh, just like in the ad. I'll, o I'll order them from the bay. From the eBay. <laughs> Gotta buy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, September 1970. I think I'm done. All that's left is to res install all the parts, get the spark plug I've ordered back in August and still haven't received, find the snowmobile's ignition key. I think it's on my bunch of keys, which should be on the generator powering my top secret workshop down south, in which I'm working on an equally top secret machine. Anyways, gotta find that key. Now that I've siphoned all of the snowmobile's gas to feed my truck, I'll have to refuel it if I'm to one uh, if I'm to wonder the snowbanks at some point. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that kind of gave us an idea of how to fix the snowmobile. Follow up on a complaint. At a meat pack. Same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Dear Mr. Lamoth, following up on your complaints, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Wa Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and he we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible. Regarding future potential complaints, let it be known that the Judicial District of Abitibi does not believe in little green men. Uh, regards, Pierre Valjean, clerk. Su okay, so that's the same guy who was uh, talking to Lachaus. Gotcha. To Jill, and he freaking he wrote Jill off just as much. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. <laughs> Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. That's even in that like picture. The mechanic had made his choice. All right. When one isn't enough, why not buy eight? <laughs> Got some more Polaroid. Okay. There's another hammer. Can I throw it? No, doesn't seem like it. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, 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 nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Fucking nothing. <sighs> okay. Apparently, Lamoth is a rock collector. It's obviously alien rocks. <laughs> um Absolutely fucking nothing. What is the point of like that's the second bag that I've opened. 
And still, like, absolutely nothing. Spaceship blueprint. Blueprints for a weird spaceship. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. Carl, we've, we've seen it, dude. It didn't. Or maybe he's talking about, like, oh, there was still missing parts from when I tried it and exploded it. <laughs> maybe. These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. Who's that? That looks like fucking, um... That looks like Blay. Kinda. <clears throat> Which is odd. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm not finding the generator. Which is a bit odd. Did I look in the cooler? Ah, another headlight. Okay. I am honestly kind of stumped with this place. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this place is just... I don't know. There's not... Hmm. Maybe it's because it's like the biggest spot, I think, that we've seen so far. Let's look around on the ground, maybe. Maybe there's something. Okay, so, he has a generator somewhere that has a key to it. Where that is, I'm not quite sure. Alright. Let's get my stake out. All right, where are you, wolves? I ain't gonna hurt you. There he is. Is that just one? If it's just one, then it shouldn't be a problem. Hey, wolfie. Pup. Go ahead, eat it. A steak alone cannot subdue Whew, a okay, good. stomach. Good thing. Oh. An appetite comes with eating. Okay. Um. Oh, he actually marked him down. Well, that was nice of him. See, so, yeah, there, there is something over there. Ice cave. The cabin. Shack. I think that was the other thing that was weird. Oh no, there's another cave. By the Lachance house. Okay. But what's this, uh... Secret project? Okay. Ah, uh, here it is. Alright. Why is there a... Oh, hell. Hell no! What is this? The blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt. Someone had been buried here. Someone whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body now? Why had it been buried only to be dug up later? Carl felt as though he was shrouded in fog. Oh, God, dude. A fire can't be started with a snap of the fingers. Something's not fucking right. Let's break the friends. Alright, not bad. That was a lot easier than I expected. Fire starter, okay. What is this secret project all about, man? Dude, how much time did this dude have on his hands? He legit made a fucking, like, full-on 
freaking bridge platform walking thing. That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it, maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I have to go all the way around? Ah, you suck. Okay. That is legit what I have to do. I have to go all the way around. God damn it. Okay, I guess while we're doing, while we go back, uh, we can investigate the ice cave. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. There is a little passageway up here. Sweet. Good man, Lamoth. Good man. Thank you for not being an asshole about it. Okay, now I can get in. Uh, let me look in here. Nothing. Okay. Let's go back and look at what uh, good old what's-his-face Lamoth has uh, in store for us with this secret project. Because I'm quite interested. I don't know about you. But I'm very interested to see what the hell... Is going on the right here. Electric terminals appear to be linked together, but for what purpose? Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna go like. Um. Try maybe this. Uh, God, that noise. It's kind of like that. Okay, hold on. I think I need to. Okay. Let's follow the wire. Right? Okay, so red goes underneath and connects to that. Okay. So, that means that that needs to be hooked up to that. Okay. What the fuck? Carl rejoiced at the unexpected source of heat. Oh! But not as much as his freezing hands. Okay. There's gotta be something more to this. Yeah, because the yellow wires don't seem to go anywhere. So that's where the generator keeps oh. All that was left was to use it. Okay. Alright, so I need to get power to the blue. Let's try that. Okay, maybe positive on this side. And then negative on this side. Let's try that. Oh, I think it's the other way. I think it's the other way. So, get power to the positive side, like that, and the negative side on this side. Okay. That has to be it, right? Fuck. Okay, there's... I'm missing something here. As per fucking usual. Okay. So let's follow this wire. Okay. So that's negative. Okay. Good. And then this one goes up and over. 
That has to be right. Okay, let's try it this way then. Is that right? What the fuck? That has to be how it is. Cause yeah, it's the blue wire, right? Like, let's follow this blue wire, right? It goes to... There. So it's disconnected, right? This one goes... There. So it has to be that way, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. I'm honestly confused about this. Oh my god, I did it. Holy shit. Alright. <sighs> Open sesame. Oh, that was annoying. Give me that shit. At last, so big an effort for an oh so tiny piece of metal. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh my god, I'm gonna cut that down. Like, exponentially. Um, apparently there's something that we can do. Hey! Well, hopefully that helps us a little bit. It's like the first fucking radio that we found that actually works. Okay. So, maybe now we can go back and uh, fix up the snowmobile? Possibly? Hopefully. Let's, uh, let's go see. Oh my god, that took forever, that took fucking forever, forever, that took forever, that was so annoying. I still don't know what the hell this is all about. The fuck? Oh, I thought I saw someone, holy shit. Okay. I swear, dude. The Wendigo pops out, dude. I'm, 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 I'm quitting this damn game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I, I will, I will be very scared if the Wendigo shows up, dude. I would not like that one bit. How's my, uh, how's everything doing? I'm doing pretty good, actually. Good deal. Okay. Let's go back and see if we can fix the snowmobile now, because I do believe. I have all the parts. I just need a gas, which is going to be a problem. I have a feeling. I just need to find a gas tank. I think. I don't know what's so important about me getting the, uh, this, uh, snowmobile. By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Okay. Place bench. Place light and handlebars. Place skis. Place track. Okay, I don't know where the track is. And then it needs gas, right? I left them close by. So they have to be somewhere around here. 
looking for the tracks. Where are the tracks? Where are these fucking tracks, dude? Where are these fucking tracks, man? Where are the fucking tracks? Where are the fucking tracks, man? I left them close by. Where, dude? Like, fucking where? So, so far, I'm not seeing any tracks whatsoever. Ah, there it is, for fuck's sake. That took way too long. A bit of gas, a new spark plug, and the key. And this thing would run perfectly. Okay. All he needed to do now was to find all that. Uh, I think I need to go somewhere else for the... For the, um... The fuel can. Because I don't see one at all in that entire property. So it has to be somewhere else. Uh, you'd think that he would have one, like, on his property, but for some reason he doesn't. Which is extremely weird. Um, I get... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I remember where I saw one. Hold on. I think I may remember where I saw one. It's a fucking far ways away, but I think I remember where I saw one. So, let's head back to the Bedards, because I'm pretty sure I saw one there. Actually, I never checked this one out. That actually- wait a minute, that looks weird. That looks black. None of the other ones look like that. That's strange. 